Hello, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Well, some of you were involved in the live stream that I had yesterday when the markets opened. And I asked those in the live stream to vote whether they think that uh, the, uh, the gold and silver prices will go up or down. Well, out of the starting gate, we saw them decline a little bit there. And as of the recording of this video, all of the gains uh, that were made on Friday were lost and then some today. And that begs the question when we see these huge gains and, uh, and losses in the precious metals as to, well, what's going on here? Um, and I'm sure there's a million of different factors, but the big question from it is, do these bullion dealers know something we don't? And there's been some speculation for quite some time. You know, uh, when people get emails about these big deals, a lot of them are coming through eBay. And it's quite fascinating to see how these things are coming through uh, from Atmex and these other dealers on on eBay for um, a lot of these particular pieces and these coins. Um, but um, because we're able to give them at such a low price, and does that mean if they're coming at it at a very low price that they are going to be... Uh, uh, the prices are going to go down, and they're trying to get rid of the inventory while they still can. It's hard to tell, really. But uh, nonetheless, um, that's where it is, and that's what's happened. It looks like the prices have gone down today, and what will happen tomorrow and the rest of the week, it's anybody's guess. Um, another member in that particular live stream had mentioned that it seems like that around the end of the year, December, the prices do pull back some in the markets. We could continue to see that. I had kind of maintained that we would see prices go up by the end of the year overall from the time when I made the prediction about six months ago. And so far, they've climbed a little bit, but it's hard to, it's hard to say. Uh, but a lot of listings on eBay for gold. And, um, you know, it's quite interesting. And then, you know, you, it makes you wonder, well, should I buy this gold coin here? Let's see, this this 1915 Austri Austrian uh, gold coin here from this seller. It's got a 99.2 uh, positive feedback. And it's a little iffy, you know. We don't know if this is real or not. It's hard to tell. But uh, nonetheless, that's kind of, you know, the buyer beware type deal when you're on eBay. For some of these sellers, you just don't know. Uh, you look at their feedback, you look at their ratings, but, you know, they could be in possession of a fake gold piece that could be passed along to you or not. Um, it's hard to say. Here's another one, 1908. Now, this one's certified, and more than likely it's genuine. Uh, by looking at it, it looks pretty genuine. But, uh, so, and the guy's feedback is a little bit higher here. Still not 100%. But don't know how many things you sold. We won't check that out. But, uh, you know, it's one thing when it's buyer beware. But what about when it's seller beware? Because that's right. There are some people, some honest folks who sell on eBay. Many of them members of the community here. And so what about them? Where's their protection? And that's the problem with eBay is it typically is uh, geared more towards the buyer, to protecting the buyer than the seller out there. And uh, so if you send out a coin, once you receive payment, well, hey, you should be good to go, right? Well, in the case of one member of the community, who I will not mention just to protect him, his identity, and um, he ran into a case where he sold a quarter ounce gold coin to a buyer, and all was well, and he uh, shipped out the package, and once the, the buyer received confirmation, well, the, the account, there was a notice that came to him from eBay uh, that the seller's account, there was some something wrong with the seller's account, that, or the buyer's account that went awry, and uh, so the eBay informed the seller who is a member here of the community, not to send the coin out. It's that the account has been compromised. And now that would, uh, you know, that could be true, but more than likely it's not. More than likely it's a scam. 
and it's a new account and they do this from, they go and find another place to buy gold or something high priced and then they they renege by saying the account's messed up and they can't get back in their account and eBay's been contacted and uh, the package has already been shipped out and so there's fraud on the other side as well and there's much less protection for the seller than there is the buyer so keep that in mind out there those of you who sell be very wary of new accounts that bid and it's kind of i guess it's kind of hard to really tell ebay should really limit and say that unless you have a certain history on there you can't buy any item over a certain amount of money and always wait until you contact the, the buyer just to make sure that they paid and uh, are good to go and can receive communication through the account to know that the account is fine before shipping out and maybe require a signature confirmation too may cost you a little bit more but um, um, it may be worth it in the end um, so just be very careful out there those of you who sell on ebay as well as those who buy on ebay and I hope this video is informative and will help. Uh, I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.